Your News 10 forecast first. Here's the live Doppler Storm Team, brought to you by Shetler Corley Motors. Good morning, everyone. Welcome into Paspa 2. Great seeing you for the visit here as we start off the Tuesday morning on the cold side. The time right now is 6 a.m. Temperatures are running in the 30s to 40s. A little bit of a breeze as well, so that makes it feel colder outside. You will want to be bundled up. A little breezy today, still chilly and actually colder than yesterday. As we see a lot of sunshine, but temperatures don't warm up much, only reaching about 58 for the afternoon. Paspa 2, it's starting right now. Right now, our 32nd annual Food Net Food for Families food drive is underway. All morning long, we'll have details on how you can pitch in to stock a local food bank. Plus, only on 10, we take a look at a new way one Acadiana doctor is treating nerve pain and how patients are reacting to this treatment. And mourners say goodbye to the late President George H.W. Bush as the former president lies in state. The public will have a chance to pay respects all day. Live from Acadiana, your local news leader, this is Pass Pa 2. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Pass Pa 2, 602 on your Tuesday. Guys, we do have a poll question out there. Okay. I made it sort of in honor of you, Jeff. Uh-oh, that's a <laughs> that's a scary thing. So what what is it? Well, it's National Cookie Day and National Sock Day, but I feel like we talk about cookies enough on this show. We do yeah. talk about cookies a lot. We really do. So yeah. I said socks. Do you are you more of a traditional sock wearer, you know, like black, white, navy, or mm -hmm. crazy socks? You are a crazy sock. Yeah, wearer. I used to be a traditional <laughs> sock guy, but the reason I went crazy is because it's easier to match them up. I was always losing mm -hmm. the match, so this way it's easier to pick them out. That's on, the honest to God truth. On average, how many socks were you losing a year, Jeff? A lot. My, <laughs> I was spending so much on socks that I had to go for the crazy sock uh, route. But it, it's a, it's an it's option that you have. You? It's worked for me. Plus, crazy socks are kind of in vogue now. So you know, hey. Yeah, Jeff is very stylish, honestly. I, I can't hey. say that I have that problem about losing socks. Though. But you're a more traditional guy. I'm just guy. black. How do you, how do you black. keep them from getting confused and being able to match them up? I don't know how. You, Maybe my dryer eats them. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, Jeff, I don't know. Just get black socks. They all go together. Uh, but right. they're still different, though. If you buy it, I just, <laughs> anyway, that's let's, a, let's talk about the had, weather. Yeah. Uh, food for families today. Big day yeah. across all of Acadiana to get out and donate uh, those food items across any of those parishes here in Acadiana. Weather's going to be fantastic for it. Now it is cold this morning as temperatures sit in the really 30s to 40s. We'll see a lot of sunshine today. That doesn't warm us up much. We're not as breezy as Monday, but we're still chilly, running about 10 degrees below average, reaching highs today only around 58 degrees. Still talking about some heavy storms on Saturday morning here in Acadiana. We'll talk about that in my full forecast in about 10 minutes. All right, thanks a lot, Chris. Well, the big day, it's finally here. All morning, we've been telling you about how you can give back across Acadiana. We head back to News 10's Gerald Grinick, who's live at the hub of it all. Let's join him at the Cajun Dome. <laughs> Acadiana, we will be set up all day across Acadiana and John Weatherall. I tell you, man, I don't know if you've seen me this excited in a long time. Of course, when I say John Weatherall, I'm talking about our photographer who's doing a fantastic job this morning. Acadiana, the KLFY Food Net Food for Families Food Drive. It is here, and she's got her Santa hat on. Let's go see her. Well, I told you, Julie, come on. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to drop down. There we go. We got to make it official. Okay. Boom. How are we doing? Yeah. My head got instantly warm. Yay. Today's a huge day for you guys. It is, it is. So we just want people to come out, drive through the Cajun Dome. You don't even have to get out of your car. We have volunteers here bright and early. We'll take the food donations. Uh, anything and everything is um, very much appreciated. We also take monetary donations. Just drop it in the bucket. That's what I was saying. Uh, when it comes to monetary donations, yeah. that's that's also uh, very much appreciated. Very much, because when we're in our um, inventory is low, we're able to buy at wholesale prices. So the food is is very needy, and we are able to purchase food with it. Awesome. So when you talk about the other uh, yeah. spots to drop off across Acadiana, how many are there? We don't have to run through them all because I, I know we've been sending people to the website. Yes. Yeah, so there are 21 total including wow. this one so how what's what's the goal food wise y'all are trying to bring in today uh, well here we're trying to fill up this 18 wheeler yes. we have an 18 wheeler we need to fill it up so that's let's, our goal here let's fill the 18 wheeler I know there's a goal in Opelousas yes. St. Landry's Parish specifically uh -huh. and Julie LaFleur one of 21 <laughs> spots that's where we find news tens Laura Levine we looking good with them Santa hats on Laura what's yeah. happening <laughs> 
Thanks, Gerald. Well, as Julie just told you, 21 locations were here in St. Landry Parish. We're at the Opelousa Civic Center where volunteers are just rolling in and getting things ready for the big day. Again, they'll be here to 8 p.m., but they're looking for a lot of items. See, last year they collected a lot of a tons of non-perishable food items. This year they're hoping to maximize that number. Uh, Geldridge, if you go ahead and Pan at the wall. These are a few things that they're looking for. Crackers, dry beans, dry soup, flour, fruit, juice, mashed potatoes, milk, oatmeal, oil. I mean, the list goes on of items that you can come and donate and be a part of what we're doing today. Food for Families, the 32nd annual food drive here in Opelousas. Again, they're going to be here till 8 p.m. And the people who are actually benefiting from this year's food drive is Icons of Opelousas, St. Landry Parish Community Action Agency, Town of Port Berry Pantry, the Refinery Mission, the Food Bank that serves Morrow. Melville and Palmetto, Gumbo and Arneville, and Christian Rural Service Center of Lawtel. And as I said, you can see a lot of volunteers are just arriving this morning, and some people actually have already begun donating items. They have some sits that are set, uh, tents that are being set up outside. Trailers are rolling in. It's going to be a fantastic day. So if you want to donate here in St. Landry Parish, come on over to the Opelousas Civic Center. They'll be here to 8 p.m. live in Opelousas. Laura Levine, Caleb Wyness 10. Well, thanks so much, Laura and Gerald. We are asking you to join us today to help feed the hunger in Acadia. Now, all day today, volunteers will be collecting your donations at locations all across Acadia during the 32nd annual Food Net Food for Families Food Drive. Thousands of people in the eight parish region are served by the food drive, and what you donate in your parish stays in your parish. News and anchor Tracy Words visited Iberia Parish, where the Food Net coordinator says all donations are appreciated and necessary. There's a true need in our communities to help the poor and the needy and those people who are either chronically or just intermittently down on their luck and need some assistance. John Indest coordinates the Food Net Food Drive in Iberia Parish. He's worked with the Social Service Center in New Iberia for several years. It's one of six pantries in that area that stock thanks to your donations during the drive. And Indest says no matter what the economy has been like, Iberia Parish has always supported those who are in need. One thing that has struck me through this entire downturn, we haven't seen a downturn in collections. We haven't seen a downturn in the charity of the people who contribute to places like the Social Service Center and the other centers. And they're most certainly needed. At the New Iberia Social Service Center alone, they service 450 to 500 families per month. Here in Iberia Parish, to be real, uh, I've seen the clients, uh, I volunteer in doing work for the poor and the needy. And uh, I, I think sometimes it's something that's not realized in our communities. Indest echoes the requests of other coordinators. They welcome any donations, but proteins like peanut butter, canned meats, and beans are high on their list. If you don't have time to shop for something to give, consider giving a monetary donation. They'll put it to good use. If you don't have food to bring, if it's not convenient for you, if you want to drop off a check, our pantries get about a $1,000 uh, when we divide it up or maybe even a little bit more that uh, we're able to distribute and then they're able to purchase those items that they might particularly need for their pantry. Now, if you'd like to know where the donation location is in your parish, head to our website for a complete list of drop-off locations. And now the Hampton Toyota Traffic Tracker Update. You're taking a live look at the intersection of Bertrand and Congress. There are no traffic incidents in Acadiana to report at this time. Stay safe on those roadways. Well, good morning, everyone. Another car makes its way through the Cajun Dome. The 32nd annual KLFY Food Net Food for Families Food Drive is here. Be sure to come on out of Acadiana. The gates opened up. We're accepting donations. It all started at 5 a.m.